Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we have some great news for users that still use Windows 10 and maybe didn't want to upgrade to Windows 11 or don't have the minimum requirements. Well, Microsoft is planning to release new features to Windows 10 until of course the end of support date which remains unchanged. But all of these things will be discussed in this video. So I'm going to show you in this video what you need to know about these new features, how to get them whenever they are available and so on. If you enjoy videos like these and you want me to maybe make videos about the new features that will be released to Windows 10, please don't forget to to leave a like below and also subscribe to the base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So long story short, Microsoft is planning to release some new features to Windows 10 users. All you need to do in order to have access to these features that will be slowly rolling out and tested for a small number of users before being released to the main release, you have to go into the settings app of Windows 10, then go into update and security, and then go in the left side to Windows Insider program. As you can see here, it says your PC does not meet the minimum hardware requirements for Windows 11, your channel options will be limited. So I'm only going to get two channels that won't upgrade my computer to Windows 11. So I'm going to click on get started. I'm going to have to link an account or log in with a Microsoft account. And after that, I should receive the two options, which are the beta channel, which is recommended and also the release preview channel. So the beta channel is now again opened in Windows 10. And this is where Microsoft will start to test out new features for Windows 10 users. And these new features, will be released as part of Windows 11 22 H2 which is already released but there won't be any new Windows 10 version or something like that because I think there's barely a near and a half until the support end date. Just select the beta channel then click on confirm and then click on confirm and you're gonna have to restart your computer and I'm gonna click on restart now. Now for the restart if we open up the settings app and then go into Windows update again and Windows inside our program you're gonna notice that we are right now enrolled in the beta channel and if we go to Windows update you're gonna have to check get the latest updates as soon as they're available and then click on check for updates. Of course, there is no new build right now, but soon enough, I think Microsoft will release a new build for the beta channel. Now, a few things that you need to know, if you have a Windows 10 PC that does not meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11, as we saw, you won't see the Canary or Dev Channel options inside the Windows Insider program. And also the Windows 10 end of support date of October 14, 2025 is unchanged. So joining the beta channel won't change that. Now, pay attention to this. If you have a Windows 10 computer that is compatible with Windows 11 and meets all the requirements, do not join the Canary or Dev channels unless you want to be automatically upgraded to Windows 11. So if you join those channels, you'll be automatically upgraded to Windows 11. If you join the beta channel, you won't be upgraded to Windows 11. If you somehow accidentally join the Canary or Dev channels, you will have a small window to roll back to Windows 10. I think that is good, but it's better to pay attention and not do that mistake if you don't want to join Windows 11. So this is basically all you need to know about these new changes or this new update related to Windows 10. My Microsoft is planning to release new updates during the beta channel if you want to test them out first and of course make sure to enable get the latest updates as soon as they're available to get them basically earlier than others. So unfortunately the end of support date is not changed September 24 2025 is still the end of support date for Windows 10 at least until then Microsoft is trying to test out some new features on Windows 10 because there is still a lot of Windows 10 users a lot more than Windows 11 so I think that is good. Also please don't forget to state your opinion in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.